Right, guys, so this is a continuation really from last lesson. We're still working with quadratic equation that have fractions inside them. And, and not just fraction, there's x in the denominator. So that means we have to write a restriction. But as you can see now, it's a bit more complicated. Where before I had just like x plus 1, x minus 2. Now I have a quadratic equation in the fraction. All right? Right, let's start with what is the same and is easy. We gotta write the restriction. In fact, even that is not easy. Okay, but we'll start with that. So let's look on this side. What kind of restriction will I have here on x? It's gonna be minus one. That's it. It's not allowed to be minus one, otherwise we have the zero in the denominator. Yeah? Now what about this one? What x must not be? Minus two. Plus two. Plus two, minus two. Plus x. Plus two, in fact. Plus 2 is the correct solution, but that's just a guess, isn't it? We need to figure out when this thing is equal to 0, right? So what do you reckon we should first of all do before we go any further? Factorize. Yes, we factorize. Whenever is the quadratic terms here, you see that's a quadratic, then you must factorize because that was a good guess with 2. 2 will work, but there must be another solution, and I'm not sure what it is. So let's factorize this. This one we leave as, as it is. Okay, that's quite obvious. All right, this one, okay. I'm not going to factorize this. Maybe I'll factorize it later, but it doesn't really matter because right now I'm really looking at the denominator, right? So, okay, that's an easy factor, factorization. What will be the answer? Minus 2. Minus 2 plus 1, right? Yeah? Minus 2. We multiply it together, you get minus 2, you add it, you get minus 1. Okay, now I can find out my other restriction. So look, uh, so I'll rewrite that restriction here again. Okay, so 1 is, we wrote that already, minus 1. What's the other value that you can't have? 2. 2. So you can't have minus 1 or 2. Okay? But now, because we factorize it, it's, now it's easy to find out what's the restriction. But we also got a bonus. If we didn't factorize, what, we, what would we have to multiply both sides by? What would we have to multiply both sides to get rid of these two things? Um. If I didn't go that, well, I will have to multiply both sides by x plus 1. And what else? x minus 2. No, let's say we didn't do that one. So I, I want to get rid of that one, so I'll multiply by x plus 1. And the other, this x term as well. Two x squared minus x minus 2, right? I had to multiply by both. That's a cubic term. It's going to be x cubed. And if you do that, you're mad. It's going to be so difficult. Now, when I look at this factorized, I don't need to multiply by this whole thing. All i got to do is, what should I multiply both sides by now? x plus 1. x plus 1 times? That's it. That's all you got to do because if I multiply that by this, this whole thing dies. Mm -hmm. If I multiply, I'm going to put the line here, knowing meaning that I'm multiplying that by that and that by that. That's that gonna, this whole thing going to kill that. This whole thing will kill that and we have also an x minus 2 on top of it. Should, is that when you draw a line? That's just the way I learned it. I don't know how do you kind of... Maybe what you, saw, you see is you, you might multiply it like this, but you also then multiply it by that. Mm -hmm. Is that how you write it normally? Don't write it. I don't know. I didn't, you don't write it. Normally, don't write it. I notice people don't write it. But it's important that you understand what are we doing? How do we get rid of it? Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other. So for me, it's important that you know what you're doing, not just doing it. So whether you write it like this or whether I, you write it like I wrote with that line, just choose one, okay? I can multiply by this thing as long as I multiply by the same thing on the other side of the equation, okay? Now, let's do that. That cancel with that. Mm -hmm. Easy, okay? So we got x squared minus 3x minus 7. What's happening on this side? Okay, here I have to be a little bit more careful. So what I'm going to do, I'm multiplying that by that, and then minus that by that. Just opening. Sorry? Yes. 
So it doesn't x plus one and x plus one cancel out. So yes. So when I multiply that by that, the x plus one and x plus one cancel, right? Mm -hmm. What will I be left with? X plus two times x plus minus two. And you see what I've done here? I multiplied that by that, so the x plus one got cancelled. I still need to multiply those two together. Yeah? I'll just pause here, I'll just pause. Okay, so that was the first term. As you correctly said, now I need to multiply that by that. Well, that's going to be minus x plus one, x minus two. So it's minus one, I found out it was that. Okay? Okay? What must I do now? I can see a question. Yeah. Um, now I gotta open everything. So x squared minus three x minus seven. Thank goodness I didn't factorize it. I, it was a waste of time. Watch. How should I do that straight away? Four. X, x squared <coughs> plus minus two x. As you gotta remember these things. Minus two x. Squared minus, minus two x. Plus two x. Yeah, but I want you to be able to do it straight x away. It's a difference of a square. Guys, you've got to remember this. Yeah. Honestly, you really, really got to remember. All right, that's it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go in two lessons. Yeah. We're going to go into something called uh, complement, completing the square. Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to use these formulas. You sure. spoke about that. You really need to remember that. A plus B squared is A squared plus do A, B plus B squared. Grade 11 now, you have to learn it. Needs to be by heart. Okay? You will now do it, like I said, in two lessons time, we're going to do completing the square, and you need to be able to use that. Okay, right, so x squared minus 4 squared. Here, this is just uh, a normal foiling, so that's going to be x squared minus 2x plus x minus 2. Please check me, you know I make a lot of mistakes. Okay, right. Um, Let's carry on. x squared minus 3, x minus 7 equal x squared minus 4. Okay, look, this one I will write down as minus x. Before I start putting minus in front of each one of these things, I'll connect them to do minus x. So that's going to be minus x squared. Minus minus is plus x plus 2. Are we happy here? I'm going to just pause. Just to, to tidy everything up. So this cancel, x squared minus x squared. Minus 4 and, well, I'll just let's write it again. x squared minus 3x minus 7 equal x minus 2. All I did is minus 4 plus 2. Now we move everything there because I've got the x squared here. x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals 0. See, I get beautiful, easy trinomials. Okay? Right. Who can factorize? I'll see that. Negative five, five and a one. I'm happy with that. Okay, what is the mistake that I did here? Um, like, not a mistake, but uh, by the way, I'm writing the answers a x equal five or x equal negative one. What did I do? What, what, I, what did I erase? Restriction. Restriction. So let's quickly write them again x not equal minus one or two. Do we need to negate, cancel? Are we canceling any of the uh, solutions? Yes. Which one? Cancel. Okay, not politically correct. Out of here. X equal five. Okay, let me just pause. Take question. Okay, that's it. Bye bye.